I'm going to share with you today three different things that have really turned into bestsellers for me. Every time I make them, they sell out completely. They cost very little to make. They're really quick and easy. And also, <laughs> you make great profits on them. So stick around for the end and I'll show you how much profit I make from each item and how easy it is to make these. This makes a great quick side hustle, especially if you don't have much room and you want to get into resin and crafting and make extra stuff to try and make some extra money. So what I've got is these jewellery findings and they're, like I said, they're easy to get hold of. I will list them in the description below and I'm going to turn these into something really beautiful. I've got bracelets, little rings and some cufflinks. And all I do to prepare these to start with is I scratch up this base. And the reason I do that is because I want to get somewhere that has got something to adhere to really easily. You don't have to go around too hard. All you need to do is put a few scratches in it like that. And these are brilliant for doing it with. I use these a lot for different things. Again, I will list them in the description below as well. It doesn't take long at all just to put a few scratches in and don't do them all in one way. Do them all higgledy piggledy as if you're scribbling with scratches. And it's important to clean these before you do the next stage and I'll show you how to do that. Massive thank you to everyone that got me a coffee last month as well. All you people really do keep me going because it's expensive for me to buy stuff and make stuff for videos. And also this is my full time job. So you are allowing me to live my best life. So Thank you so much. If you want to buy me a coffee, the link is in the description below. And thank you. And here's everyone's names that got me one last month. So I've got those all nice and scratched up now. And before I do the next stage, what I'm going to do is give that a good clean with some 99% alcohol to ensure that they're not got any dust in or they've got any dirt in that's going to cause the resin to not stick in there. Just needs a quick wipe over and then that'll evaporate off really quickly. Massive thank you to all my members as well. If you'd like to become a member of this channel and benefit from all the perks of membership including extra videos support from me support from all the experts that are in the group then the link for that is in the description below we'd love to have you over there it's a great group i'm sure my members would say so in the comments thank you members so once we've got those all nice and clean what i'm going to do is fill the inside of these like this with a variety of different things. Now this one I'm using the Chrome Marker by J Diction because I just love that. Because we've scratched it and cleaned it we'll be able to do that really easily and I'm using some flower foam here to push them into and let them dry like that. Now you can use acrylic paint if you want to. I'm also going to use some nail varnish as well which I find works really well and you can just paint that in the inside off them with nail varnish you do need to put in a couple of coats unless you put it in quite thickly to start with and then it does take that little bit of extra time to cure up or dry but that's fine and then push that into the oasis and again that will sit in there until it's dry and it actually gives you something to work from as well i'm going to make a bracelet as well the same as that to match the other thing is you can also add some decorations to these while they're dry in. So if you want to add something into them to make them a little bit more sparkly, then you can. So I'm going to use a little bit of nail art here to do that. And this again is so cheap. I will link it all in the description below. And I find if I put it in now, then it usually sticks to whatever I've got in there. And that will help a great deal when I come to do the next stage. So for the cufflinks, I'm happy with how that is finished off in there. All I'm going to do is pop a little smiley face on there, like that, in the middle, and let that dry. I just think that makes it a little bit more fun. In these ones, I'm going to pop some hearts. And then the other ones, I will just finish off them as I'm going along and then I'll show you what to do next. Well, these are all ready now and waiting. They won't take too long to dry. But I'll leave them probably a couple of hours before I do the next stage, but that didn't take long at all. And you can make lots of these in one go. Have a little production line on the go. These are all lovely and dry now and they didn't take too long to dry. So I left them overnight because I just didn't get a chance to get back to them. And now what I'm going to do is a really simple and easy way to turn them into some hard wearing jewellery. And that's really what we're looking for. And then once I've done that, 
I'll show you how I price these up, um, what they cost me to make. I'm going to be filling these with UV resin, and because they're already in this foam, I may as well leave them in here, get them as level as possible, like that, and that way, I know that I'm going to get the best out of them. I'm not going to get slopey resin. Now, I'm going to be using the high viscosity one because this gives a brilliant dome afterwards as well. So don't go too quick with this because if you go slow and also if you keep a consistent pressure on the bottle, you're less likely to introduce more or any bubbles into it. Because this is a nice high viscosity resin, you can get a good dome on this. If you want to have a little bit more dome on it, then cure it up and then dome it up again afterwards. But I find with this high viscosity resin, actually, I don't need to do that. I just do it as I've done. And then if I need to add a little bit more resin into it, I do it like I just showed you and just drop a couple of bits in it. And that will give it that extra dome. You can also, if you, as long as you're not working in direct sunlight, if you give it a three or four minutes before you cure this up then also any other bubbles that you've added to it will come to the top or you can move them up with a toothpick or a micro brush and then cure it up so i can see a little bit of a trap bubble in that edge there so all i'm going to do is go in with a micro brush there and remove that little trap bubble well, there we go it's come up to the top now and there's a couple there that have come up to the top be gentle when you're doing this because you don't want to dislodge the resin that's in there and then once they've come up to the top and burn them off with a long neck lighter like this and uv resin cures very very hard so it is a lot more scratch resistant now i'm going to hold my lamp above it i'm using the large one normally i would be able to do all these in one go but i'm just doing this for the sake of this video i've put it on for a 60 second burst to start with because i've done this quite thick i want to make sure that it cures really evenly so i'm going to do it for a 60 second burst then leave it just to cool down for about 30 seconds and then do it for two or three more minutes and you'll find that if you get any warping because you've used a thick layer of uv resin on something or if you get any like movement of it doing it this way really does stop that from happening so as you can see they've cured up really well and they look great i'm going to finish off the rest and i'll show you what they all look like while I'm showing you how much I cost them at and price them at. Well, these are all finished now and I'm really pleased with how they've come out. The bracelets, I always think, look so pretty. And the rings, again, have come out lovely. So easy and quick to make. I would probably make double this amount in the time if I wasn't recording for this. Just having a little production line going on. So I'd probably make, yeah, I would probably make double, if not more than this, in the time it took me to make these. All these items are great sellers and the thing is you don't have to price them up really high to make a good profit on them. So let's get to the pricing of these. To see how I price these up just pause the video here and you'll see the breakdown of the prices. Hope you've enjoyed this. Be sure to check out the video that's coming up next if you want to learn more about how I make great money at craft fairs on one particular item as well because this always sells out too. I love sharing this information with you because I want you all to be successful. I want you all to love what you're doing and grow and develop and earn some extra money in these hard times. Be sure to boot the like button, hit that subscribe button and most of all, take care and enjoy your resin. Bye.